everyone it's Brian of tiny crypto blog and I am well first off everything I'm about to say is not investment advice just me sharing my own opinions for your educational purposes because you should always be doing your DYOR do your own research even if that includes just watching YouTube videos for a half hour it's still doing your own research you need to come to your own conclusions and not base your decisions solely upon the views and opinions of one person. Coming to you from an uh, off-site location, and unfortunately I did not bring my selfie stick, so I'm using my left arm as my selfie stick to hold up my, my phone. But I'm enjoying a nice sunrise, and I did have a slap together thing that I was going to do for just the channel channel algo, but instead I'm actually going to do this little video and I might just make it a post. Screw it, why not? So right now the market's down again. I was just watching CryptoLark's video, which if I remember to do so, I'll make a note here in this handy dandy notepad. Link CryptoLark video. Where he showed the charting of how for the last 30 days and the last 6 months as far as BTC pricing, link Lark video of how uh, overall we're doing pretty good. Or let me rephrase that. How overall the price of Bitcoin is still higher than it was six months ago. I also brought up another point. Who was selling at 6,000, at BTC 6,000? when uh, from that uh, crash from the all-time highs. Who was, who was selling? And he said, who picked it up? The whales, the investment funds, the private investors, big money players, and smart people who bought the F and dip. Well, if you follow the channel, if you follow the crypto space for news, you've seen more crypto more implementations going on, more payment platforms are being made, more onboarding services are coming online, more trading platforms and exchanges are coming online. Example, uh, Robin, Robinhood? Robinhood? Robinhood. The implementation continues. The transition continues. The regulation and guidance structure continues to be built and put into place and evolve. The prices are down like this. This is when you got to get your Alec Baldwin brass balls and say, buy more cryptos. Buy more cryptos. Or maybe I should say accumulate more cryptos. Doesn't matter how you're doing it. Whether you're buying them on onboarding services like Coinbase or any other services, whether it's mining them, whether you're staking them in a, uh, on a wallet, you're doing uh, crypto faucets, or even if you're doing really the burning match stuff like, God, I don't even want to say it, but doing like, like you're a participant, not a promoter, but just a participant in hypes and lending platforms, for God's sakes, those things are high risk. High risk and a burning match. That's why I tell people avoid them. They're nothing but bad news and they're basically Ponzi's. They're Ponzi's. They're structured to pay out like Ponzi's. There might be one out there that actually, you know, stakes a coin. Huh. You know how even BitConnect had staking. Yeah, look what that got you. Nowhere. I mean, while the thing was still running, yeah, you could have gotten a profit out of it, but still. You have to pardon me. I get reflective sometimes in my thought process. But yes, sticking back on track, accumulate cryptos. It's kind of like when, um, let's say precious metals, silver, gold, the price goes down, one dollar, one US dollar of fiat buys you making sure his pitcher doesn't crap on me. One dollar a fiat, oops, let's try it like this. Right hand, 
one dollar of fiat will end up getting you more of it or like a, any commodity when the price goes down one dollar the purchasing power of the dollar goes up that much more same thing with cryptos price of a dollar goes price of the dollar uh, price of the crypto goes down that one dollar buys more satoshis of that given crypto than it did yesterday and days like today when the market just keeps get hammering down the only thing the only if some if a friend were to ask me Brian what are you doing I would say I'm accumulating more cryptos I just keep doing it you know if I got an extra 25 bucks or 50 bucks I can scrape up from something or like not buy it's almost like cryptos are on sale again I could use some more Litecoin sure you know and the worst thing is you know Litecoin I like Litecoin because the low transaction fees the fast transactions and there's so many different platforms you know Changely, Shapeshift eh, in time atomic swaps but it's good to move around too where if you want to use Litecoin what I one good strategy is using Litecoin because of the low transaction costs and you know, I haven't moved Bitcoin in a while so I don't know how cheap the transaction costs but I'm gonna say that Litecoin's still cheaper you use Litecoin to move from exchange to exchange and then convert that trade that to Bitcoin to buy whatever given crypto you want to buy in the exchange and purchase with BT you know exchange for BTC and then when you want to if you're doing a trade and you're cashing out you know just do a price appreciation will convert back to Litecoin move it to your wallet and then if you want to do whatever with it I'm sort of all over the board this morning at least I feel that way I feel like my energies are scattered and there's a lot of stuff that I'm doing in my own personal day too but in any case, I'm, uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up. So, thanks for watching. As always, you can follow the news at tinycryptoblog.wordpress.com where all the main content is. We've got links for recommended YouTube channels to help educate yourself. There's information on scams, information on how to get started with cryptos and get start buying them basic education as well as updated news and information that I feel would help educate yourself with there's also if you're on Facebook tiny crypto blog if you're on Twitter uh, at tiny crypto blog if you're on steam it I'm also tiny crypto blog uh, be sure to educate yourself because ignorance will get you punished to one degree or another be well everyone and accumulate more cryptos. This is not investment advice. Now would not be a bad time, if you're looking to accumulate cryptos, to consider that. You have to make a decision based on your own sense of risk, but it's not a bad time. This is the time where you can jump in and go, be well everyone.